You're watching BCTV. We're all about Brantford. You're watching BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. This program is brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Call the Board of Selectmen's meeting for October 6th. Is this a special? This is a special. This is a no, very, a, okay, good. I just wanted to add something to the agenda. All right. Board of Selectmen's meeting uh, to order. Um, item one, uh, to approve the Board of Selectmen minutes of September 1st, 2021 and September 9th, 2021, which was a special. So moved. Second. The move seconded. Any edits, corrections, omissions? Hearing none. All in favor say aye. 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 Pass you. Um, quickly, I would just like to add uh, under item four, we'll call it 4B, uh, a proclamation declaring uh, the first Wednesday of, in October, uh, Energy Efficiency Day. Do I get a motion to add to that to the agenda? Make a motion. Second. Move, second. All in favor say aye. 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 All right, item two, to consider and if appropriate approve a request from Gary Zielinski, Supervisor, Department of Public Works, to waive the requirement for advertising for the sale of a 1999 John Deere 410 backhoe loader and trade it in for the value of $14,000 toward the purchase of a new 2021 John Deere 410 L backhoe loader. Uh, thank you, Gary. Good evening. Uh, what I'm here for tonight is I'd just like to request permission to uh, trade our old 1999 John Deere 410E uh, in towards a purchase of a brand new John Deere backhoe. Um, and the uh, traded value that W.I. Clark will give us is $14,000. Um, if you look at what we have here, what I have here for the uh, comps, um, the retail values on a lot of these pieces of equipment, similar some are a little bit lower classed, but they're similar uh, to our John Deere. Um, it's a little bit higher, but that's retail. Um, I don't feel that we'll get the 14,000 if we went straight out to auction it out at our equipment auction. Um, I think it's a risk. The uh, John Deere will only depreciate over time. It already has in the past, uh, I want to see a year and a half. It's already depreciated in my, in value. So, um, with your permission, I'd like to go ahead and uh, trade this in towards the uh, purchase of a new uh, John Deere backhoe, four ten L. So basically, uh, the WI Clark's going to guarantee us. Uh, will, will give us a trade in value of 14,000. So, Town of Brantford is a guaranteed value of 14,000. Uh, per our um, uh, requirements to uh, dispose of uh, um, town property, we would then go to an auction process, which we have a history of um, you know, the, the prices or what the town yields from those significantly lower than uh, the uh, trade in value or retail cost. So I think you're like, this is a, a hedge against going that uh, route and uh, yielding less dollars in the 14,000. Where you see that probably the thing that in terms of hours, it's probably most comparable. There's probably a, a $2,000 difference there. Right. I'll move it. It's been uh, moved. Second. Second. Any questions? 
So I have, I have a question. According to uh, the WI Clock Company, this uh, purchase of a new one would be given at a 44% discount? Yes, municipal wow. discount. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So 114000 reflects a 44% discount. Yeah. It's the, yeah. That's how expensive this yeah. equipment yeah. is. Yeah. Yep. And how, in your general opinion, how long do, the, do these equipment, uh, how long do they last or is it by the hour? Depends or? on how well maintained they are. And, and that's how they value these is mostly by, by the, hour. the condition and by the hours. Okay. Do you use mm -hmm. them every day? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're out every day. This one, um, it's, still, it, it's still a good machine, but it's just a little it's slower out, than the sure. other ones, you know. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. This is a state bid here? Yeah, uh, source box. Yeah. It's a, yeah, and that's, that's a why good, it's that's, lower. That's why we don't, yeah. Yeah. We're, I'm just asking for permission to trade into it. Yeah, yep. right. Yeah, just for the public's point, the uh, Selectman Higgins uh, brought up the point, and yes, and to your question, uh, Selectman Dunbar, this is being, the new piece of equipment is being pur purchased off a purchasing cooperative, which our uh, ordinance allows, and as you see. I, as yeah. you pointed out, it's a significant savings over yeah. the stick sticker price. So, yeah. all right. So it's been moved, second, and any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Gear. Uh, okay. Item three: to consider and appropriate approve a request for the placement of a permanent land surveying reference monument for the town green near the flag. Thank home. you. And with us to present, um, I'm sorry, sir. I know we, I see your name in the email if you just want to introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Ed Rhodes, I'm a licensed land surveyor uh, here in Connecticut. Um, the idea is to place a um, permanent uh, survey control monument um, at or around the, fl the flagpole um, that will be used in projects that the t both the town and local surveyors. Um, can um, enjoy doing. Um, this monument will be updated regularly with the um, current regulations and so forth and so on. Um, and because there's no real control monuments in the area, um, this would both suit the public um, for control for both elevation and um, horizontal control. Um, okay. And um uh, just so we're clear on this for the publics, uh, as I appreciate the, the thorough uh, overview of the project. I think it's important to note that this monument, just so those who aren't aware with the survey monument, is flush to the ground. It's very unobtrusive. Uh, probably, I would say, uh, the top of it will probably be what, four inches square, six inches square. Um, the top is approximately four inches square, flush with the ground. Um, uh, in fact, over maybe six or seven months as the grass grows, it probably will get covered permanently and only surveyors will have ties to it um, to know where it is so they can use it and um, reference it. Yeah. And uh, in your, your organization, I just to also note, um, is doing this uh, in honor of uh, Larry Fisher, yes. who's uh, certainly a... Uh, uh, many in the community know as a surveyor who's uh, done a tremendous amount of work. Uh, um, and I, I would just like to point out, because typically um, we don't have on the green monuments that are in honor or tribute to one individual. But I think, you know, the, the point of what you brought up is that this is something that this last point monument will be uh, something that will be a, a you know, serve the community and surveyors and right. projects uh, for years to come. So it's 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 more than it, you know. It's a monument, but it's it's to, it serves a purpose yeah. that'll benefit the community. Correct. Uh, for for long yes, past function. us, right? Function, functional, yeah, function, functional piece. Yeah, basically, as long as I mean, the one we placed um, down in Milford. Um, uh, it's about almost 14 years ago, is still in great shape, and that was down at Silver Sand State Park. So the state actually uses that quite quite a bit. Yeah. Um, when I came to them to do that one, um, they were like, wow, this is great because we have nothing down here. Right. Um, and again, this is no cost to the, to the town. Everything yeah. is provided by us. And, yeah, and that was, you know, 
uh, talking to our town engineer and our assistant town engineer, Jen, who's Larry's daughter, we, who was, uh, that was the, you know, one of the benefits is that we don't have anything in this area. Uh, and so I uh, think it's, it'll be something that'll serve the community. And also for the record, I think we're talking about in the location of the flagpole, um, because, you know, that'll be an area that'll, well, hopefully uh, remain uh, intact in yeah. perpetuity, right. uh, not disturbed, but it's going to be outside uh, of the actual granite ring because, uh, just to be clear for yeah. the public, it's not right. within the, the granite area where there is a monument to our veterans and the flagpole actually serves as a monument That's itself. Correct. So I just wanted to uh, let the public uh, be aware of that and the board members. I'll move it. All right. Second. Move. Second. In. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very so, much. When do you look to start? Um, probably next week. All right. Um, <laughs> great. Yeah. Very nice. Before the ground gets hard. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, item four: Green use to consider and, if appropriate, approve a request from the Brantford Cub Scouts Pack 424 for the use of the town green on Friday, October 29th. 2021 with a rain date of October 30th, 2021 to hold a trunk or treat. Second. Let's move, second. And all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, to consider and if appropriate approval request from the Brantford Compassion Feline Rescue and Adoption Center for the use of the town green Sunday, October 2nd, 2022 from noon to 4 p.m. to hold Animal Awareness Day. Second. Move, second. And all in favor say aye. 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 Uh, item 4B, which we added. Uh, I'm sorry, did I miss one? Oh, is that D? Oh, 22. Yeah, 22. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're getting in early. Uh, <laughs> I'll stake it now. All right, proclamation, energy efficiency. They, whereas energy efficiency is the cheapest, quickest, and cleanest way for, way to the, for the town of Brantford to meet its energy needs, avoid dangerous pollution, and reduce utility bills for residents and businesses in our community. And... Whereas implementing energy efficiency and other clean energy policies and programs can help boost economic opportunities and job creation while continuing to move the town of Brantford toward a sustainable future. And whereas smarter energy use reduces the amount of electricity needed to power our lives, which helps avoid power plant emissions that can harm our health, pollute our air, and warm our climate. And whereas energy efficiency makes our homes and work spaces healthier, safer, and more comfortable. And whereas Cutting energy waste saves U.S. households billions of dollars on their utility bills every year, up to $500 per household from appliance efficiency standards alone. And whereas improved energy codes for homes and commercial buildings also can significantly reduce utility costs and create new jobs. And the town of Brantford supports increasing the minimum levels of increasing the minimum levels of efficiency for new buildings through adoption of code and model 2021 international energy C conservation code and whereas a nationwide network and energy efficiency groups and partners has designated the first wednesday in october as national annual energy efficiency day and whereas together we can continue to contribute to our sustainability efforts by learning more about energy efficiency and practicing smarter energy use in our daily lives therefore we the Board of Selectmen of the Town of Brantford do hereby proclaim the first Wednesday in October as Energy Efficiency Day. So moved. Move, move. Seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 Uh, item five, correspondence. Then item six, other business. Come up here. I'm Dan Halley, in case you didn't know. Um, I have a, um, I had correspondence uh, with you about the, um, uh, oh, the trails uh, going from Red Hill Road to the quarry. Um, you, you referred back to saying that, in, in effect, that um, you were made aware of it and that the, um, uh, the quarry, you, um, 
Mr. Anderson in the quarry was aware of it as well and that you were within the boundaries. I noticed that that, that border now is moving um, and it's moving toward um, Red Hill Road. And so a lot of those walking trails now are um, either being obliterated altogether or at least compromised to the fact, to the point where um, it is not um, a normal walking trail anymore. And I see that there's ribbons up there for further removal of trees and I, I presume that there's going to be more quarrying done. Um, there are also signs on there on several trees that say Brantford Parks and Open Space. Uh, they're red and white uh, signs. I don't know if you're aware of them, but I, I don't even know who's putting them up there. And have they been surveyed? It, I mean, is this, do we know where the boundaries, uh, the actual boundaries of the quarry are? I, I was in town hall yesterday. I looked all over the place trying to find where the boundaries of that lease and I don't see any maps that say that that show the, where that is, um, where that boundary is. So, how are we determining whether that's a, uh, you know, they are in their um, legal uh, area to quarry or not? How how do we determine yeah. that? So I, th I believe that when you first referenced the about a year and a half ago, uh, right. we did look at the activity that was occurring. And through GIS, I think it was determined that it was ap it was the activity was occurring within their their leased area. Um, I've been made aware of actually just last week of um, additional activity or or extensive activity that has occurred since that time. Uh, I was uh, aware through uh, an email. Uh, followed by several photos. So I am aware of it. I immediately contacted uh, Mr. Anderson uh, both through uh, text and email requesting that he halt any activity within the area that is uh, currently uh, uh, an area of concern. Um, uh, and, and through the email exchange that's been happening since that date, which he then uh, replied uh, shortly after he was either that later that evening or the next day saying he would uh, cease any activity and would look to resolve this matter and what so, day, do you know what date that was? Uh, this is probably last uh, Thursday night well since then I've noticed some trees have been uh, removed well he's been the the representatives of land trust the representatives of parks and open space have been in uh, pretty much frequent contact with not only Mr. Anderson, but other representatives from the quarry. So uh, they're all aware of the activity and they're working towards uh, uh, resolving the matter and to your point, identifying, the, I think they're, they're waiting for uh, some final proposals to do, uh, uh, bring in and do a survey work of the area. And, and who's uh, inclusive of a flyover. And who's doing that? So uh, it would be the uh, quarry operator is doing it and also, uh, um, is working with the parties and, and town will be so somebody in our town will be yeah, overseeing and, and that. we're and we're also uh, looking at which you know something that I think needs to be identified now is um, what is the plan the tie-in plan between the quarry operation and the open space that exists abutting it so we uh, you know when that activity does occur or if it occurs how is it left how is it finished and to your point about the trail system that uh, travels through there we want to make sure that it travels in a, a safe path and that there's proper uh, measures are taken to ensure hiker safety in that area so we are working on it uh, all our parties that I believe that are uh, involved uh, you know parks and open space and uh, as the town of Brantford uh, the uh, Brantford Land Trust as well as the quarry are working uh, well, uh, well, I know in that, er in that area in which they have removed mm -hmm. and they have now quarried, there were several um, uh, lady slipper uh, um, enclaves, I would guess the best way to say it, that are now no longer exist because they just, you know, that is not, and lady slippers are not that common, they're fairly rare, right? Mm -hmm. So we, we, that's another thing we've got to consider is, is that really, really what we want to do now? Seven said that I got, you know, Stony Creek granite all over my property. So, yeah, uh, I, you know, there's a balance here, right? I mean, that's what we're getting at, right? Um, and I think that we just got to 
see if we can figure out how to make that balance work, right? Yeah, I think that's that what we're, uh, we, we're working towards uh, to, to make that, you know, strike that balance. Right, and there's uh -huh. a little concern about some of those signs that they used to have up are no longer there. So telling well, people, it, telling people to stay away, you know, 50, yeah. uh, 75 feet. Uh, yeah, so that's all the things that are being discussed in terms of how it should be left. And as I mentioned with the trail, because there was a, my understanding, a trail that did uh, right in there. So it, it's it's no longer right. It's with a viable master, trail, right. you know. But um, so we are we have been uh, we're made aware of it and we're working towards uh, resolving the matter. So okay. all parties have are okay. satisfied. Thank you. Um, I have another question since I got your attention. Um, the last meeting that you had, we, we spoke about um, um, digging out the trench along the road next to my house, which, which was done, and uh, um, Public Works did a great job. A couple little things I think that need to be um, smoothed out a little bit, but, but by and large they did a very good job. The, the, issue, the issue is, though, is um, there are um, just reflecting um, post up there where that trench is now. And that trench is a couple feet deep. Uh, it's only about, oh, I would say three feet maybe um, from the edge of the road to the trench. I, um, going up to my property is a guardrail going from the pond up to my property. I think that guardrail should probably be extended along that, that trench because otherwise if some car goes off in there there's not <laughs> you're not getting that person out of that trench without some serious um equipment to uh you know record uh, wreckage equipment or something you know right. other than your normal thing i think it just has to be revisited mm -hmm. the, the, your, your concern is the close proximity of the drainage trench to the road and that there's not a barrier there. Between yeah, and, the kind of, and they go too fast on yeah. that on that yeah. road. They're just That's, doing and it curbs. I, uh, speeding is one of the probably the top top issues that we have in town. Yeah, everybody's arguing. Yeah. And That's and uh, and I and in fact the stuff that the the police when they put up these signs that are you know when you the radar little uh, portable ones they're actually very good you know. I, and you keep them up there for a couple of weeks and then people realize that oh gee I'm only going 35 when I should be going 25. Yeah, you know? yeah, right. So. All right. Yeah, they've been moving those around town. We'll look at that area. All we'll right. Look at the area for your speaking it, of right now. Right. And we can get back to me. Yep. All right. Thank you. Well, probably Gary anyway. <laughs> All right. Thank I'll, you. I'll gent the way. Yeah. All right. Uh, any other business? Uh, motion to adjourn. Move second. All in favor say aye. 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 This program was brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. Watch town meetings and other videos on demand at BrantfordTV.org.